In this video, I am going to talk to you about this question. How do I start a social media career? This guide includes methods, tips and tactics to help you get there. So if you want to know how to start a social media career, keep watching. If there is a video that you want me to create for you, please let me know in the comments below the video. Hi, my name is Ashley. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button so you get alerted about new videos. Please make sure you like the video because that motivates me to create more content for you thank you let's go so to begin with I will tell you what a job in social media is first things first what does working in social media really mean the job of a social media specialist or a manager looks different depending on the size and the type of the company they work for Small businesses often have a single person handling all of their social accounts or even all their marketing efforts, even the ones happening outside of social platforms. Larger companies may have a team of people dedicated to managing social channels with more specialised roles like social media strategist, community manager or social engagement specialist. Let me tell you about the main types of roles in social media. The first is social media management and this includes includes social media strategy and performance tracking. Then you have content creation, community management and social media advertising. In smaller companies, these roles may all be bundled into one position. That means when applying to a small team, you'll likely want to present yourself as a social media generalist with broad skills across all of these areas. When applying for a role on a larger social team, you'll want to highlight your specific expertise in one key area. Daily tasks also vary from company to company and even from day to day. In this job, you're not restricted to anything. Social media changes virtually every single day and you need to be able to adapt to that. Here are some common responsibilities that might be expected of you as a social media worker. Creative copywriting, graphic design, social ad setup and optimization, performance tracking and data analysis, community engagement, customer support, public relations, end-to-end -end planning of social campaigns and communicating with company stakeholders. So as you can see a job in social media can involve wearing many hats. Here are tips and best practices to help you start a social media career. Here we go. Tip number one, grow your own social media presence. Building your own social media accounts is an effective way to prove to a potential employer that you know your stuff. And the best part is you can make your personal content about whatever you want. Create your own social account about something that you're passionate about and invest some time in it. Social media presence refers to the visibility a brand has on social media platforms and the connection it builds with its community. The stronger your presence, the more trust you can build with your audience before developing a direct relationship beyond this marketing channel. For brands, there's no single metric tied to social media presence. However, it can translate to a high engagement rate, a growing brand awareness, and a positive brand perception. Visibility and presence are different. A social media channel has no presence if there is no audience who values it. Use social media to listen, monitor, and analyze your audience behavior. That information will allow you to gain consumer feedback, improve new or existing relationships, and expand your brand social presence. So while visibility comes with having a strong presence, it's not the measure of success. Resonance is. Let me tell you about the importance of social media presence. Having a social media presence goes beyond having a profile with content. It means creating content tailored to the interests and needs of your target audience. Doing so builds trust and once you have that, you're one step closer to earning your audience's business. Having a strong social media Media presence also allows you to better understand your audience. While there are a ton of growth hacks to boost a brand's social presence, I think the greatest value goes back to knowing your audience. The ability to know your audience so deeply to where you understand what captivates their attention and pair that with content that provides value in that moment is a recipe for success. Connecting with your community on this level helps you to get to the core of their needs so you can better serve 
serve them with your product or service. Engage with your audience. Social media is arguably the closest contact you have with consumers on a regular basis. Within a few hours after publishing, you can gauge your audience's response and learn something new with every post. Take it one step further by creating opportunities for your followers to connect with your brand on a deeper level. This can be inviting them to participate in discussions in the comment section, answering fun this or that quizzes, creating polls, answering Q&As and doing some live videos. You can gain invaluable insights into your audience's dislikes, likes, challenges and concerns through these activities. This will then arm you to create targeted campaigns that convert better. Manage your community. Having a social media account without community management is like having a car that is always nearing empty. You won't make it very far. Community management is a major driver in building your social media presence. It's fundamental to a brand's growth, its image and social success. Being proactive by reaching out to other brands, fans, customers and followers in similar industries really helps build that community around your brands. People start to recognise the name, the types of conversations that brand is having and its level of knowledge in that specific market. This aspect of social media management requires brands to be proactive and seek out conversations that will draw audiences in. Think of it like going to a party. You showed up, but now you'll have to talk to a few people and start making some friends. Without doing these proactive pushes, just putting a brand on social and not tying in the community efforts won't get it very far. Community management is the center of the customer journey, like the flywheel model, crafting the relationship between the brand and the customer. Stay active and be consistent. Have you ever scrolled past a brand and done a double take and thought, oh you, I forgot you even existed? No brand wants that kind of reaction. Social media is a game of visibility and with brands. It's often out of sight, out of mind, so it's crucial that you are active on your social media platforms and post consistently. Many brands start off strong, posting every day and then less and less until they're only posting once in a while. Success doesn't usually happen on your first, second or even third try. Social media is playing the long game and once brands realise that it doesn't usually blow up overnight, that's when consistency comes into play. In social, you need to test, experiment, analyse and even take risks to learn what strategy your brand should move forward with to connect and build an audience. If you find yourself running out of content or ideas, start with a lower posting cadence and limit the platforms on which you are active. It's also helpful to plan out your content at least a month ahead of time and have your creative assets ready so that you're never left scrambling. If you're looking for support in the areas of social media marketing and digital marketing, get in touch with the Internet Business School, the UK's leading internet marketing training provider. Just click the link in the description box below this video. Stick to your brand voice and aesthetic. Consistency isn't only about your posting schedule it also encompasses your brand as a whole. Your brand identity should be the same across all marketing channels. It can be confusing for consumers to understand your brand if its messaging and identity seems to switch from one day to the next. How can your audience connect to something they can't figure out? So once you design your brand strategy, make sure it aligns with your social media strategy. Invest in high quality creative assets. Social media is one of the main sources sources of brand discovery. Your target persona is scrolling through Instagram, your post shows up and it garners their interest. What's one of the first things they'll do? Visit your profile. You often only have a few seconds to make an impression on a potential customer and you don't want them turned away because of bad content. This can include low quality images, copy with grammar mistakes and the use of non-branded content. Your social media profile tells a story so make sure it's the one you want to tell. Optimize your profiles for SEO. Social media has made it easier than ever to discover new brands, but just because it's easier doesn't mean there's no work to do on your end. When thinking of SEO, it's easy to assume it's website optimization. However, you'll also want to optimize your social profiles to make it easier for your target audience to find you. One of the easiest ways to optimize your posts is with hashtags. Beyond that, you'll also want to optimize your bio page 
page in a few ways. Include a few keywords identified through social media tools in your company's description bio. Have working links that lead your followers to other channels like your website or YouTube channel. Use the same profile image and handle on all social media platforms. Tip number two, complete a social media certification. There aren't any hard and fast rules when it comes to qualifications for working in social media, but completing a social media certification is an asset. There are so many resources out there, such as webinars that you can complete, HubSpot Academy courses you can sign up for that are recognized by people in the marketing industry. Many social networks also have their own training and certification programs to help social media professionals learn the best ways to use each network's specific tools and highlight that proficiency to potential employers on your resume. You can learn from Meta Blueprint, the Google AdWords certification, Twitter Flight School and Pinterest's webinars. Tip number three, job search using social media. You can find a job on LinkedIn. The best part of it is that you can see other people who work at the company, connect with them and ask them questions. I suggest to connect with marketers in industries you'd like to work in and arranging informal informational interviews. LinkedIn has some built-in job search tricks too. You can create a search and save notification function on LinkedIn for targeted keywords of jobs you're interested in. That said, LinkedIn isn't the only option. You can join social media community groups on Facebook or follow social marketers on Instagram for leads on positions. Tip number four, know what to look for in a social media job posting online. So how can you tell a good job opportunity from a bad job opportunity. Here are some red and green flags to help you out. Here is a red flag. You can't tell what the company does. It's important that you're managing social media for a company that you actually care about. And if you can't even tell what the company does from the job description, that's a bad sign. There are many job listings that don't actually tell you what the company is or what they do. And that means you have to do all the extra research. Here is a green flag. There's a healthy work-life balance. Burnout is real in the social media space. Work-life balance is something you can discuss with a potential employer or even a LinkedIn connection working at the same company. You can also get a feel for the company culture by taking a look at their social media posts. Here is a red flag. The job description is too long. A really lengthy job description can mean that the employer doesn't necessarily know what they are looking for or have realistic expectations. Having five or six specific points shows that the employer knows what their goals are. Here is a green flag. There are opportunities for growth. Ask about this in a job interview, you know, at the very end when the boss asks any questions and you suddenly forgot your own name. Here is another red flag. There's no social marketing budget. To set you up for success, your company should provide you the resources that you need. And one of those resources is money to boost ads and pay pay for subscriptions to invaluable social marketing tools. Here is another green flag to look out for. You have the support that you need. Even if you're taking on the job of a solo social media manager, you don't want to feel like you're completely on your own. If you're going to be a one person team, make sure that you have the tools and mentorship you need to succeed. Thank you for watching and be sure to let me know in the comments below which tip from this video you are going to use first. If you want to advance your digital skills with social media marketing, make sure you click the link under the video now and check out the Social Media Marketing Consultant online course. It will give you all the digital skills, training and knowledge you need to create a profitable business from start to finish. It breaks down social media marketing to a simple step-by-step -step process which anyone can learn over a weekend. It can help you start a new business venture or start a new career. And if you're interested in that, which I hope you are, click the link in the description under this video and take a look at it. I hope that you found this video useful. Please share it with your friends, like it and tell people about it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please give the video a like. If you have any questions, please leave a comment under the video and I will follow up with you. Thanks for watching.